Climate change is one of the most intensely studied phenomena in the world today. Thousands of studies conducted by researchers around the world have documented changes in land, air, and ocean temperatures, along with glacial melting, shrinking sea ice, rising sea levels, ocean acidification, and increased atmospheric water vapor. Here's a brief summary of what we know so far about our changing climate. Global atmospheric concentrations of carbon dioxide have reached 410 parts per million for the first time in about 3 million years. For comparison, just 50 years ago, CO2 levels stood at 325 parts per million. Carbon dioxide prevents solar energy from radiating back to space, effectively warming the atmosphere. The five warmest years on record were the last five. The 20 warmest occurred in the last 22 years. Since the year 1900, the average global temperature has risen one degree Celsius, or 1.8 Fahrenheit, with two thirds of this increase in the last 44 years. Without major reductions in CO2 emissions, temperatures could reach 5 degrees centigrade or 9 degrees Fahrenheit over pre-industrial levels by the year 2100. For perspective on how radical that is, a 2.8 degree centigrade drop was enough to bury a portion of North America under a towering mass of ice 20,000 years ago. Wildfire season across the globe is 20% longer than it was in 1980 as a direct result of a warmer, drier climate. In the western United States, between 1986 and 2003, wildfires burned nearly four times as often, covered six times the land area, and lasted five times longer compared to the years 1970 to 1986. At the same time, heavy rainfall is increasing in intensity and frequency. The peak rate of rainfall during storms has increased by 30% over the past 60 years. Remarkably, the speed of hurricanes and tropical storms has slowed by about 10% in the last 70 years, with landfalling Atlantic hurricanes slowing by 20%. A slower storm means that inland areas will experience increased flooding. The rise of extreme weather events like hurricanes has already taken a heavy toll. Since 1980, they've cost the United States alone over $1.1 trillion. Average sea levels have risen by 18 to 20 centimeters, or 7 to 8 inches, over the last century. In the United States, the incidence of daily tidal flooding is accelerating in more than 25 Atlantic and Gulf Coast cities. A sea level rise of as much as 2.4 meters by the end of the century cannot be ruled out. If that happens, a range of coastal cities, including New York, Tokyo, London, Mumbai, Bangkok, Amsterdam, and the entire nation of Bangladesh will be underwater. Recent studies project that by 2050, over 143 million people could be forced to migrate directly due to climate-related events in Latin America, Sub-Saharan Africa, and South Asia. The consequences of human-induced climate change are altering the world as we've known it so quickly we may not be able to prepare and adapt. Though many still choose to avoid thinking about climate change or treat it as an unproven possibility, its effects are blatant and escalating. There is no denying that it's here. <laughs>